Hello everybody, welcome back and welcome to another video on the channel and welcome to an interesting game between the French and the Chinese. So sit back and relax. So okay, so this is going to be a really interesting game. It goes all the way to the Imperial Age, so it's a, it was a very hotly contested game. And again, I made some mistakes. This is not the perfect build. Um, it's not, you know, really good micro either, but I do get the win and that's the main thing. So what we're going to do here is, this is the first time I've played as the French as well, so it's um, a learning curve for me, but I've gone for the same sort of tactic as the English, which is to get everything on food and to gold as quickly as we can to age up to feudal so we can get down that school of cavalry and go for the knights. So once I get to the point where I've got enough food and gold, I put down the school of cavalry and now I start to rally onto the wood to get that wood so we can actually um, build some barracks and archery ranges and all sorts of things later on. So my tactic here is to go and raid. Um, again, I don't know exactly where his stuff is. I kind of do from scouting, but I know he's got gold over here, so I, I'm going to aim for that. Um, and also I could have come down the south and go for the wood line, um, but it's the gold that I'm going to try and get. Now he's aging up. He will age up quicker than I will because he, um, he speeds through this because I think the Chinese get like a buff to like um, landmark building as well. So it's something we need to to be aware of he will age up before we do even though i put mine down a lot quicker okay so aged up we are ready to go so we're going to produce our knight and we're going to rally him out so we run in and it, he's built a barbican of the sun at, during this time and so it's kind of ruined my whole entire plan um and i i was desperate to try and get one villager at least um but i really should have run away um and i lost that night which is a big waste of resources and i know that um and that's fine but what i'm doing now is producing two more knights um and we're going to try and get in there again um, i obviously i know i can't go here because the barbican's going to get me so i try to go round and into the back and this tactic is a bit more successful but it's not really <laughs> like so here i come running in and uh, i go for the kill over here um, and i see all these villagers and i think ah this is good we might get a couple here um, and obviously he's good micro here, he's running them back and at this point I should have just run away but I kind of tried to stick in there for a bit longer um, and again I lost another knight and I only got one villager so again it's a big waste of resources but we are getting villagers and I suppose and that's a, a good thing I guess but I do try to go around here into the wood line um, and they run away as always and then some spearmen start coming out which makes me want to have to change my tactic now I already have some knights coming down, ready to go, so I'm going to use them, but then my tactics will change from here, so I will not use knights anymore. So here come my extra knights, so now we've got three knights in, which um, will cause damage to villagers, however, um, we've got the issue with the spearmen, so the spearmen will kind of just defeat them, and that's going to be annoying, but I tried to circumnavigate them while I've got because I have the knights already out so I thought well I might as well use them if I've got them so I tried to I run through them and get into the villagers um accident, accidental click there um yeah, the villagers are running away and there's no chance so I just tried to get out I just literally run back to base here um where my knights change direction I, I click back to the base and they change direction which has been annoying but there we go. So I just run them back and that was a really failed raid. Failed raids all around. Two villagers for two knights is not good. Like you can see the difference we've lost here. So we need to uh, we need to rethink our strategy. So I start to produce some archers and I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and focus on aging up to castle. So I'm voting down the Royal Institute. Now this is a bad, bad move from me again. I should have put down the guild for like getting the extra gold, but yeah, it is what it is. It's not a big deal. So we've got some archers out now. We've got the Royal Institute going down. We're going to go to castle and we're going to get ourselves ready to go. So now we're into castle. I'm starting to get all my economic upgrades and some of my um, blacksmith upgrades just to strengthen my army up a little bit. As you can see, my opponent has 30 spears at this point and I'm in trouble. <laughs> This part of the game, I'm really in trouble at this point. I don't know, obviously, I don't know he's got this many spears, but I'm in trouble because they're all over here ready to go. And you'll see in a second what, what he does, and it's I'm, I'm surprised I survived, to be honest. Here we go. So you can see here he's building rams, and I'm in trouble at this point. 
I have no idea he's building these rams. I'm just sitting here with these tiny little amount of troops. And I am bearded in men at arms to kind of protect myself a little bit, but I, yeah, I'm in trouble. <laughs> so here they come. He's got so many battering rams. Uh, I had no idea how I managed to survive this. So he's coming in with six battering rams, 30 spears and six shugnu. Um, and I'm in a bit of trouble here. I've got some troops to defend. Um, and I'm gonna, like my one tactic always to say, if someone's coming in with rams to try and defeat you, is go for the rams, forget about the military. Just go for the rams. You will lose troops this way, but you just gotta take the rams down because they will destroy your buildings and then you will lose, simple as that. So I'm chucking everything in them. I'm even using the villagers to try and take them down. I'm gonna lose a lot of villagers here, but it's the only thing I can do is to protect my buildings from these rams. I have to lose villagers. And it's the only way I can survive. And miraculously, I don't know how we do it, but we do it and we do it really well. And the villagers are really strong and they, they do they destroy the rams really easy. And we do, But we do lose loads. And it does set us back quite a lot. We can see we're quite far behind at this point. Um, and it's not great. But we, we hold on. The men at arms are strong enough to take down the spears. So we can hold on and we can take down all the spears. And I'm, I'm really happy with how this went. Now this is good because this gives us the chance now to counter-attack. And that's exactly what we want. We want to be able to counter-attack. There we go. So all the spears are pretty much dead now. We've got this one last guy over here and then we're, he's now running away. And that was a successful, really successful defense. And I'm really happy with myself for that. We did lose a lot of villagers, but we, we did defend and we defended well. So I distract there as you can do with this men at arms. I try to push him far back as I can before I lose the men at arms. And then we start to rebuild. So now we're rebuilding, we're getting ourselves a tower. And we're getting ourselves some more men at arms and ready to go for some sort of counter attack. Now, what you've noticed is that my opponent's got to the Imperial Age so fast. He, he caught me up on Castle and then went past me onto Imperial Age, even though I was ahead. And it's, it's ridiculous how quick he managed to get to the Imperial Age. And I'm thinking to myself, oh no, I'm really worried here. But I'm going to go for it anyway because I've got to put pressure on him. Otherwise, he's just going to build loads of siege engines and stuff and then we're done. So I take out the Shugnu and then I start to work my way in. Now my opponent at the moment hasn't really got that many troops, but he's building Lancers, which are pretty strong against men at arms. Um, they're not super strong, but they will take the men at arms down. So I don't know this at this point because I'm just building men at arms. Um, but we are now ready to go and kind of like pounce on his buildings. So I started to produce mangonels, which obviously, as everybody who knows if you watch the videos um, a lot, is then my favorite unit. I like to get the mangonels out and get them ready to go. So as soon as the mangonel comes, we're going to go in for an attack. And there's his lancers. Here we go. So we're going in, the mangonels coming up behind, and I'm ready to fight. And there we go. We're going, we're going to try and like provoke him a little bit. And here we go. Now we're going to lose a lot of these troops, and it was a, kind of a bit more of a failed raid than, than I expected it to be. Again, sometimes I forget to use the mangonels, even though I have them. <laughs> there we go. It does eventually get into action. And then we do is make some damage. And then you can see the knights don't take a lot of damage from um, mangonels. You, it doesn't say, but they're a bit useless against knights. But that's fine. We, we do lose this battle, but it, it, we kind of have him on the back foot a little bit. We've got him like thinking about his own base rather than thinking about our base and that's what we want to do so there we go we will lose this mangonel but that's not a problem we have another one coming up behind to kind of do a little bit of damage and it's not like he didn't take a lot of losses he did take a lot of losses as well so we, it's not like we haven't um haven't completely destroyed his army as well um we nearly lose this mangonel but my spears were on hand and now i'm producing spears as well because i'm I'm realizing that he's going for lancers, so I want to avoid having to deal with like the lancers. So I'm going to use the uh, spearmen at all times to kind of just protect against that. Now they're not very strong at the moment. I think they're only uh, hardened, so they're not like elite yet. But soon they'll be elite, and we will lose the mangonel this time. But it's done a good job. It's we've basically wrecked most of his army, and we're pretty much equal at this point. And I'm way ahead on villagers. I, I've caught well up and overtaken. So yeah, there we go. So at this point, I've um, 
while we've been doing that battle, I produced two towers here to give myself kind of like a an area to kind of attack from or defend from, um, to kind of help protect me a little bit better. And I've obviously got spring olds in there now um, because obviously they're pretty powerful for a castle age. And my goal here is to try and get myself to imperial age, but I have to also defend myself at the same time. So I'm producing a lot of archers to kind of just do a little bit of damage from the rear just to protect myself a little bit more um obviously these lances i don't think they are weak to they're weak to crossbows but not archers um so we just have to be mindful of that i haven't got really got the gold to really produce a lot of crossbows um not the way i want to do it because obviously i still want to get to uh, the imperial age so i'm just having a line to just protect a little bit for uh, imp now so we're going to place down our um, artillery college and that's going to give us the chance to build rubalquins and um, culverins which obviously are going to be really good against his um, siege which he's producing as you can see bombards um, which are not exactly uh, easy to beat to beat so here we go so i've got a couple of mangonels out as well ready to defend and there's the Imperial Age. We're in the Imperial Age now, so we are ready to start producing some good units. So you go, the first one is the Rebalquin, and then we've got our Culverin coming out in a second as well, and then another Rebalquin afterwards. And at this point, we're kind of like, kind of waiting for each other to fight. Um, I'm waiting for him to come at me, he's waiting for me to come at him, and he starts to make the first move. So he's put some Spring Olds over here, and he brings in some lancers um, to kind of like goad me. Because what he wants me to do is he wants me to attack into his lancers. And then he wants his spring to come in the back and take out my siege. Um, and I know that's going to happen because actually with this tower, I can see these. So I know they're there. Um, so not the best move by this guy. So what I'm going to do is prompt him by going in first. I'm going to prompt him in. I'm going to come in here as if I'm going to attack here. And then I'm going to go in then for the lancers. So here I go. So you see, I'm going in for the, the spring odds. And then what my covering does is fire. So I go in after the lancers and then take him down. And at this point, I think my spears are now, uh, where's my spears? They're hardened still, so they're not actually upgraded yet. <laughs> but there we go, they, uh, the spring odds are down. He's retreated. And now we're gonna go in on the counter and try and take down as many of those troops as we can and obviously we're wrecking through his lances at this point because we are got our spears in the front we will lose our spears pretty quickly in this because they're not strong enough yet they're only veteran they're veteran now but they're they're not quite fully upgraded um, and we're causing some damage here and i, I like this um, the rebel queens haven't been used yet um, and i need to start using them <laughs> and we will use them any second now there we go. And they will cause some big damage. Big damage. There we go, wrecking them, wrecking them. There we go, we will lose them, but it's uh, we've caused some good damage. And at this point we are ahead on the damage, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Now we want to try and take out these guys um, and he will retreat, but we're going to try and push on and see what damage we can cause. So there we go. The lancers are coming in. The archers aren't going to be the lancers. The Rebalquin's going to have one last go. But he, the Rebalquin will get picked off now. There we go. And the Manganels are going to come in and try and cause the damage. There we go. And they do take down some of them. But we will lose them. But it's just the way it is. What we've done is we successfully kind of pushed him back. And that's what we want to try and do. There we go. We're taking down two of his bombards. And there we go. The Culverin has taken down the last one. And then the Culverin's kind of on its own and it's kind of in a bad spot. So we're going to lose that. But that's fine. Because now we're just going to rebuild. So what we do is we're building the keep. And while we're building the keep, we're kind of pushing him back. And then he's building the keep as well. So we're having this kind of stalemate thing going on. At this point, I'm not really sure who's going to win this battle. Um, and it's just going to be a case of who kind of is the bravest at this point. What happens here is I go onto this gold node because I'm running out of gold and he noticed this and he comes across to kill my villagers and I do lose quite a few of them which is, is a shame 
but it's not a problem. Um, now, obviously, I noticed this now, so I'm going to move my troops over to try and defend um, before he kills any more of my villagers. And I'm brave. I just bring my villagers back because I need that gold. Desperately need that gold. So here they come in. All my troops are coming across now. It's kind of going to leave me a little bit open, so we need to kind of be a bit careful with this. But we're, we're dealing with it. There we go. Should take most of them down pretty easy. Got plenty of firepower on them. And there we go. And we defended there nicely, so we're gonna sit, we're gonna kinda of put some units here now. And what we're doing now is I'm just absolutely spamming out Spearman because I know he's just using lancers. And I, I don't know why he decided this was his plan because I could literally just produce spearmen and crossbowmen and then that would be done. But he decided to go for full lancers. Maybe this is his, one of his builds he's just been training and trying to practice on, but it doesn't work. And this is what gives me the upper hand in this battle is that I use in spears now. He's just decided to stick with the lancers. If he changed tactic and started to move into like using his own like kind of infantry and stuff, then we might've been gone on for a lot longer. But now we're like getting ourselves prepared. So I'm just going to keep spamming our units. And then once I've got enough troops, I'm just going to go in the counter and we're going to try and avoid the keep. I'm going to kind of go through it. I tried to build my own keep here, but um, it never really comes off, to be honest. But we're going in for the kill here. He had some lances up here, which I didn't anticipate, but they kind of just walked into a wall. Um, and they, they will get beaten. Um, and he has a lot of lancers, so I'm in a little bit, even with all those spears, I'm kind of struggling a little bit to start with. So I need to get myself more and more spears. But it's nothing we can't overcome, and we will lose this culverin, unfortunately, but that's just the way it is. And again, it wasn't really a successful fight, but we did kind of keep him pushed back a little bit. Um, but he then decided to go on the counter, which gave me some chances with the spears. Um, and it's a little bit back and forth now for a little while. Um, he's going to come and attack me with these bombards, but I need to get on that as quick as I can. So this will come in and I'll defend against the bombards pretty quickly. So what you'll see now is uh, he's going to come in. I'm just going to finish those bombards off really quick. Kind of went in there wrong way with these bombards first. That's a bit odd. He does try to defend them, um, but I'm in there trying to get them. I'm kind of like focus firing on them do get them there we go and then he pushed him back and that's uh, ideal and there we go we've got 57 in the queue now of spears and we're just going to spam out those spears there we go and it, it, we're just adapting to the opponent so um i'm just producing spears because he's producing horsemen and the more horsemen he produces the more spears i'm going to produce and if he changes i'll change but there's no need I've got spears and crossbows coming, and that's that's all I need. Now, what he does do is he starts to produce some trebuchets to try and take down that keep. Um, and it, every time he does it, I'm just going to bring in my spears and I'm just going to take down that trebuchet. He does this weird thing where he kind of like tries to attack from all different places, and he just can't quite get in close enough. So it's a bit odd. He does this for a little while. But I decided to produce my own trebuchet as well. He starts to try and attack my villagers over here with the trebuchet. Um, they're kind of a bit pointless really because it's not going to cause that much damage. But here he comes. So I'm coming flying in now to take down this trebuchets. Can't have him using the trebuchets at all. He gets a few shots off on my, on my keep which is a bit annoying. But the spears are on it. There goes the first one. I'm straight on to the second one. And now he's retreating again. Once again, he's retreating. And we've made some really good damage. And we've got our own trebuchets coming out now. We're going to start our own counter attack. So here we go. So with our trebuchets coming out, we're going straight for the keep. We're going to take this keep down and effectively win the map here. We're going to take down all those lancers. But now we've got elite spears. There we go. He tries to circumnavigate to get to the trebuchet, but I've got a whole line of spears protecting the trebuchets as well. So I've got no issue there either. 
and we are all good. Easily won this battle. There we go. And the, the keep is about to fall. There we go. Lovely stuff. And there goes the keep, and then we move on, and we are now on full counter attack mode. We're going to take down those trebuchets and bombards. And we're going to finish this off nicely. We've got a load of spears coming on the right hand side. We're just going to come in from both sides, and he's got no protection here. And once we take those down, we're going to take that bombard down, and then that is game over, unfortunately, for him. So this is a bit of a mop up now, we're just going to mop up his troops. Like I say, we always go for, we're going to mop up the troops, then go for the villagers if there are any around, and then we're going to go for buildings. We're going to try and focus on things like houses. However, in this game, I'm not really sure we need to bother. I've got trebuchets, so I'm just going to take down the barbican. And that's going to be a good GG. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget, leave a like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what you think about this game. It's a little bit of a longer one, because it did go a lot longer this time. But I had real, a real good blast. It was really good fun. And I'm really enjoying this. So they come the trebuchets. They're going to take down that barbican. And at this point, it is very much over. Um, he has no more troops. And I'm way ahead now. With like, we've got like 90 troops here at this point. And uh, the barbican is, is finished. So I'm going to wait until the game finishes. But um, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, like I say, let me know in the comments um, what you think is probably a really good tactic for the French. I think um, I haven't really played French much, but I imagine it's just using knights. And if you can't use knights, then go for like men at arms and crossbows. Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. But let me know. And here we go. So all my troops are coming in now to just wreck it. And that is the end of that barbican. There we go. And those troops get easily destroyed as palace guard. I mean, the palace guard, aren't they? Yeah. Easy done. There we go. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.